Hello everyone, welcome to my project ideas channel. Today we will learn how to make a water tank overflow alarm system using Arduino Uno. So let us begin. So for this we need one Arduino Uno, one ultrasonic distance sensor, one piezo and a few connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So first of all let us see how to connect this piezo. So it has total two terminals, first is a positive that we will be connecting to this GND pin of this Arduino and the second one is the uh, is the negative terminal that we will be connecting to this one number pin of this Arduino. Now let us see how to connect this ultrasonic distance sensor. So it has total four terminals. First is the power terminal that we will be connecting to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino. The second one is the ground terminal that we will be connecting to this GND pin of this Arduino. This one is a trigger pin that we will be connecting to this 2 number pin of this Arduino and similarly the eco pin will be connecting to this 3 number pin of this Arduino at the digital side. So in this way a circuit is ready. Now let us see its code. So over here first of all we have initialized one integer named as distance to 0. After it we have used, used one function read ultrasonic distance which takes two, uh, two uh, variables values first is the trigger pin and the second is the eco pin. So first of all what we are doing is we are configuring this trigger pin for the output purpose and making it low for 2 microseconds and again uh, we are making it high for 10 microseconds and then making it low. After it we have configured this eco pin for the input purpose and at last we are calculating this pulse in using this function. We are returning this value and in the void setup function we are beginning this serial connection with 9600 bits per second speed and we have declared this pin, uh, pin number 1 of this Arduino Uno for the output purpose. Now in void loop function what we are doing is we are calculating the distance using this formula. This function will return a value and using this formula we will calculate the actual distance. Now after it we are printing this distance on the serial monitor and if the distance will be less than 30 means almost the tank is yet to flow. So we will provide this pin number 1 high output. So simply this alarm will be, uh, alarm will produce sound and if the distance will be less than I mean greater than or equal to 30 then it will not produce any sound. Now let us see how actually it will work. So for it I am clicking in start simulation. See over here it is and hence it is producing sound. Sweet, Thank you.